Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be looking at how to import a UCS that has been created on a different computer into the computer that you are currently working on. There are actually two ways to do this. The first way is if you go to Utilities and use a Setup Package. There is a training movie already about how to use a setup package, so I'm not going to go through all of this. I will go through the basics. You would choose the category UCS. You would find whichever UCS you wanted to move. You would add that to the package, save it, then move that package to the other computer, and then import it in. Again, like I said, this is uh, already a movie out there, so I'm not going to go over the whole thing. The other way that you need to know about is that you can do it from within the User Created Standards Editor. So if I click on the editor, I have Test UCS 1. If I right click on this, I can say Export. And I've already exported it to a folder that I call the Test Files. You can export it anywhere you want to. Uh, on your desktop directly to a thumb drive which is how you would move it from one computer to another whatever you're going to need and you would simply save it to that folder I'll just go ahead and save it so that you'll see that it says export complete now I'm going to delete this from the computer I'm going to go to import a standard from another location this lets me choose whichever UCS I want to import. I'm going to select this one and click open and you see the UCS has been imported in. You'll also notice it's designated by an asterisk meaning that it was a manual import and this lets you know that it was created on another computer either by you or by someone else. So that's really it. There are two ways to import a UCS either using a setup package, which has been described more fully in another movie, or you can use the import-export directly from the UCS editor. This completes today's training movie. I would like to remind you of your training options. The help files are available within each Cabinet Vision product. The eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and it features a technician monitored forum. Regional training classes are available, so please contact your customer service rep for classes in your area. If you would like someone to come on site and train your team and yourself, this can be arranged. Online training is a convenient method for training over the internet. The e-learning series is a series of topics you can purchase online for immediate download and use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.